what is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review today we're going to take a look at star lord from avengers infinity war and you can order this at bigbadtoystore.com i'll put the link down below four dollar shipping and they double box your item so you know pretty cool deal right there so this one i it took me a while to get this it took a nice sale for me to get this because i do have star lord uh deluxe from uh, um guardians 2 but you know i've always wanted another star lord just because it is so good like on guardians 2 version he does have that long trench coat that i always wanted that look but at the same time i want him to be in the short jacket you know that's how he looked like in my favorite marvel movie which is infinity war so you you're in this dilemma and the head sculpt is so good should you display him with a head sculpt or the uh you know helmeted sculpt i i was torn so why not get both right like so i want everything is infinity war and end game i think i've said that more than in, uh, more than enough time um and but the more I, I i do like the guardians too because of the look that he does have so i at first i wanted to buy a, a second body you know just to formulate another star lord and thank god i didn't because this was so cheap that it, it would have cost me more to get a second body you know so uh because if you buy a second body you're gonna get pants and boots and you know how much they cost you know but, uh, but this guy comes with a lot of accessories as well not as much as v2 but you got this grenade looking thing plus everything that he does have here pretty much coincide to thanos or used to you know defeat not defeat but you know like to combat thanos in infinity war which again is my favorite movie from the marvel series uh and then he does have this blaster here which is pretty much similar uh just watch out for that video because i'm gonna make a comparison between the two uh not that it, it is needed but i just want to show the differences so for anyone who doesn't have a star lord yet you know that might be helpful and as you can see you got that that triangular bomb that you can insert at the bottom you can see that right there I, I don't know the trap but the bubbles are pretty cool as you can see here this is what he used you know when he was trying to kill gamora spoiler alert uh and then the bubbles came out and that fits on the previous gun as well now you also get two uh, of these discs that uh for dr strange you know when he was stepping and dr strange was helping him out so that's pretty cool the uh transition helmet this is nice as well as you can see this is a bit different than the uh version 2 um but same function just different aesthetics and you got the helmeted version which lights up again we're gonna take a look at that later on and this is the energy blast or whatever you want to call this that trapped thanos in his hand he can take it out uh star lord was hated in infinity war for obvious reasons but you know it played a big part on the infinity saga so you gotta ha have him and this is a pretty cool effect here that you kind of insert on the base which again man i hate this bendy pole things so you kind of insert this plastic thing that they give you and then you insert the the top part you won't see it here because i didn't move the camera but and it falls over uh but it looks pretty nice although the um the backdrop itself is not high quality though it feels like it's a cellophane that you know i don't know why i didn't show it but here, here you go you can see it feels like there's a like wet spot like there's a film that you have to take out but there isn't so that's weird so the suit material that you do, you do have here for those who doesn't have star lord is the pants are pretty awesome it's fabric and then you get this pleather as a jacket um it has a magnet you see that flap out there that's magnetized the the jacket there are some reports that it does flake 
uh, this, the, the pants because it's fabric. You, you don't really need to worry about anything. Uh, articulation wise, it is pretty good as well. Um, there's a lot of things going on with the pants, as you can see. And also the biggest, I guess, change from V2 is this thrusters uh, on his boots, which does not come on V2. Not that, you know, I don't know if that's a selling point for some people, but it's there. Split cut boot design as well. Uh, the pants is pretty intricate. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, cut and saw in here. Pretty nice. It's, it is really nice. I, I, I tell you that. Uh, the jacket itself as well. You do have that uh, plastic version on his uh, kind of like uh, trap area in there. And you move it around. You see there's a lot of stitching going on. And that's cool. But it's also prone to ripping. I personally haven't ripped one. Uh, so, But I've seen people, you know, who... If, if you move it around, because it is pretty tight, it's pulling and tugging in, in different direction. So moving down here, that's the boots area as well. It's pretty cool. Now let's go to the head sculpt and we'll start off with the helmet version, which it does light up exactly the same way as V2. I cannot remember if it's the same way as version one. So, you know, there's, there's like three Star Lords now and we're going to have another Guardians movie coming up. So I don't know. Maybe Star-Lord would change his look. Uh, I highly doubt I'm going to get that since I already have two Star-Lords right now. But you never know. You never know. Right now in this phase, that might be the strongest in the lineup for Phase 5. I think it's Phase 5 still. Or Phase 4. Whatever the case is. But I... I I'm excited for that movie. It's still James Gunn, same crew, so that would be fun. Uh, pretty good head sculpt. You can see the light up is really bright because I'm blasting this with light. But I, I think the um, best part of this, honestly, is the non-helmeted sculpt. As you can see, our actual picture of Chris Pratt, and we'll mix it to the uh, Hot Toys version. I think it looks great. I think it looks amazing. Um, there's nothing that I would really want to add. Uh, I don't know. You know, the, the biggest, I guess, change with this. Again, I'm going to do a comparison video, but he is looking straightforward compared to the V2 where he's looking off to the side. So especially if he's like resting and all that stuff, it looks kind of weird, you know, but I do like this look. Um the neck is a separate piece. He does have that little, I don't know, Bluetooth in his ear. But everything in this head sculpt, I don't, you know, no complaints whatsoever. Looks really good. Uh, be careful, at least on the V2, this jacket is too close to the neck. And if you don't move him a lot, if it hits the neck area, it stains it with red. I mean, not a big deal because you don't see the back of the neck anyway. But on the sides, you know, it, it does kind of hit the side. So it looks like he has a hickey. But what you want to do is put a tape around the collar area. So maybe it doesn't necessarily touch the neck part. If you care about those things. But this is the, uh, the transition, I would say, animation. I think it's pretty cool. You know, I, I don't see myself displaying him a lot looking like this. Um, but I like the option. The assembling this is a little bit, I wouldn't say difficult, but it's not as easy as you think it would be. You know, there's like little small tabs that you got to insert it. So you got to assemble one side first. And then once you do, there's the bottom part, which is the silver bit right by the chin that is magnetic. So you assemble the other side and then once you put them together, you put that magnetic piece, the chin part in there and, you know, you kind of close it up. And um, that's pretty cool, honestly. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it's you might scratch the head sculpt here and there. I haven't, but, you know, very specific when I do this. Maybe, you know, I don't know, some scenes or whatever, but it's there. It's cool. 
uh articulation wise this is a normal mms body the uh you see the neck goes up and down the jacket is a bit tight so whenever you you know you you could move him around uh there's a bit of a restriction as you can see here because of the nature of the fabric or or the pleather but you know if you take out the jacket he he could move it just just as fine uh some uh, split cut boot design here uh the pants he just uh, some bicep and uh you know turns out there so there's an inside shirt that looks like an under armor sort of a thing uh that's pretty cool but yeah um some restrictions but not too much though i mean I'm, he's not gonna be spider-man so let's put him in some poses before we wrap this thing up again i hate this bendy one and i understand why they put this in but can you imagine this is pleather and you leave him like that that is ooh, that's asking for trouble i wish he would have came with again the crotch grabber my god that means i don't know man i don't know they're still doing it you know even with vision they are still doing it and you got this guy right here in his uh you see this this boots that he does have not boots but those a uh, disc that dr strange provided to him where he can just jump around and you know step on them and here he is throwing that that grenade while you know switching over that's that's why i think that that little backdrop is so cool because he it feels like he just came out of there and uh it's funny that's the same background that i'm using um just came out of there to help out the team you know throw this at thanos and um if you could that would be a nice display that would be really nice so you, you know magnet it on the detail for something and then this is the final battle when you know everything this is from endgame i kind of cheated here should have put in my infinity war thanos but i'm reviewing a lot of things lately so just trying to get this over as much as i could but i think this bubble effect looks really cool i i i'm gonna take a picture of these guy one of these day with with my thanos with this um because i do have all those thanos lately so my final thoughts on this guy if you don't have a star lord yet this is the best not the best version 2 is the best um as far as ultimate i would say star lord but this is not a bad second option not bad at all uh the head sculpt is definitely better than than v1 so i would rank it as v2 first the deluxe version and then this guy it's just that the deluxe version of v2 has the longer trench coat and it does have that little accessories that makes star lord pretty much star lord you know the headphones the cassette tape um baby groot that long trench coat uh but overall if you have a display you know consisting of end game characters or infinity war this is not a terrible consolation price not at all uh terrific figure a lot of there uh, almost three head sculpts if you think about it you know the light up helmet version a fantastic um uh, unhelmeted sculpt so those are great options for this guy uh plus if you have other figures you can complement them with one another you know thanos or or not necessarily just guardians itself so i highly recommend this even if you do have us i do have two star lords now so i'm gonna display them in two different looks but thank you for watching guys hopefully you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so follow me on instagram facebook and twitch and i'll see you guys in the next video